command. Onward. Isolor sent me to... Oh, this! I mean, uh, she... Uh, this is my niece, Merrily. My head won't fit in the root jar. Yes, Merrily. That's very interesting. I told her that her head was too small for her age. Now she tries to fit her head in everything. In any event, as I was saying, Isolor sent me. The Archdruid. I mean, Isolor didn't send me the Archdruid. Isolor is the Archdruid, and he sent me. Here! Woo. So, all aboard? Ready and waiting. It shall oh, be done. there you are. Our things have settled down, more or less. There are still a few goblins hiding under rocks in the plains, of course, but nothing the Ten Towns can't deal with. All this over an insult. Oh, yes. You haven't heard? The Legion sent envoys to the Ten Towns months ago. The whole reason this is happening is because the mayor of Brinshander somehow insulted Isaire and Madei. Small? Oh, why, yes, she is. And that's why I had to move her. The yon started attacking Kuldaha, and I moved the villagers to Tagos. I couldn't leave little Merrily there, though. Oh, yes, the half-breeds. They're trying to destroy the Great Oak. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Isalor can explain it all better than I can. Now off we go! Isalor? 
Why, he's the Archdruid of Kaldahar. He replaced Arendelle almost, um, 30 years ago. Same time all that other nonsense happened. Oh, well, I suppose it's not common knowledge, but 30 years ago, two demons appeared in Icewind Dale. They caused all sorts of trouble. One of the demons, Bellyfet, killed our Archdruid Arendelle to prevent a band of adventurers from using the Heartstone Gem to divine his army's location. The adventurers eventually defeated the demons and returned the Heartstone Gem back to Kuldahar. But it wasn't until almost a year later that Isalor arrived to replace Arendelle, a sacred relic of the Druids of Sylvanus. It has awesome powers of divination and healing magic. It's the main reason why Kuldahar is in a state of eternal summer. The Great Oak is the other reason. Like the Heartstone Gem, the Great Oak of Kaldahar is sacred to the Druids of Sylvanus. Thousands of years ago, it sprouted in the wilderness and provided warmth to everything under its huge branches. A miracle. But now, Isalor is the only one protecting it. The yon have been trying to destroy it. And well, Isalor can tell you the rest when we get to Kaldahar. How can I help? Very well. Oh, there you are. Are you ready to go yet? Excellent. Just let me adjust a few things here and merrily get into the restraining jacket and put your helmet on. The other way around. Yes. All right. Here we go. At long last, my uncle brought the adventurers to Kaldahar. I wish they had seen our village in happier times, after the Legion was no more, after all Kaldahar and her enemies had all been reconciled. What they came into was a barren village, its citizens driven out for fear of death or worse at the hands of the Yanti and their allies, the Legion of the Chimera. I remember brief periods of my childhood, Traveling with Uncle Oswald in his airship, sitting on the knee of Isalor as he told us how the flowers grow. But I remember nothing more vividly, with more palpable reality, than the sight of the great oak's roots hacked from their mother trunk. To this day, when I am ill, I sometimes see those bleeding stumps in my fever. The pain exceeds the illness threefold. No man, woman, or child raised in Kaldahar during that time can forget what they saw when we returned to our village. Victory meant nothing to us. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? I don't have any bumps on my head this time. Oh, be quiet, you. And while I'm talking to the nice adventurers, I better not catch you licking the potion moles again. It's going to get you into trouble someday. The magic of the Great Oak makes the village under its branches warm year-round. Since the Hearthstone Gem was returned, the circle of warmth has grown. Into a bigger circle, with a larger diameter, that is. Well, you could take the paths down to the fields of slaughter, but the Legion of the Chimera has destroyed most of the trails. Isalor will know what to do. You can find him to the east, past the bridge and the mill. She didn't always live with me, no. Merrily was separated from my brother and his wife when goblins attacked their village. We haven't heard from them in five years. I'm more than happy to take care of her, though. That? That's where Mother Egania raised his heir and Madei. She's still buried there, but the villagers burned the house down. She, well, she... I'm sorry. I could tell you, but I think Isalor would be more helpful than I. What happened with Egania, his heir, Madei, even to the twins' mother, is a sad tale. It's a watchtower. It used to be a grain tower, but Isalor and Jermsey thought it would be best if it were turned into a watchtower. He's a sour grape. 
His parents were killed by orcs when he was a child during the troubles in the valley. Now he's the captain of the town watch, and he has a thorn in his heart. How can I serve? Stun Quarta, those Elegnan! Silence, but What is that Musta Indi? Yes. Very strength and might in you. It shall be done. Forward. 
And there's no you in Ready and waiting. Of course. Sir, onward. Yes? Forward. God's crown is bloody skull. Let's spill some blood. I am nimble as I am quick. And how you die is my extreme. Sarklin, attack now! Teach you real Body and soul, each other's mate. The Speak twain shall split my blade to <coughs> You will suffer. Fair. Suffer greatly! Forward. Your my Sarg is greater each than yours. Mate. The twain shall split my blade to sate. Speak, Ustan El Gados. I am here. Ready and waiting. Some bloody skulls. Sweet victory. Your body and soul. Your time. I am here. Ready and waiting. Agreed. Of course. I can, and I will. How can I help? At once.
forward. Point me to a fight. How can I help? Agreed. 